What is up guys, Sawchasm here, and today I have for you guys a PM9 MOAB playing some Ground War Domination on the map Arcaden. And this game was definitely one of the harder games that I've played in terms of actually winning the game and securing the objectives, mainly because, you know, at first, I wasn't really playing the objectives as hard as I should have, and I definitely take the blame for that. I definitely admit it, and I recognize my faults there. I definitely could have played the objective a little bit harder at the beginning, but towards the end, I kind of pick up the slack, and I just go on a capping spree. I go around capturing flags, and etc. And, you know, this game, my team, they were helping, but they were more the slayer role. They were kind of the role that I usually take up, and... When everybody on your team wants to be a slayer, or everybody on your team thinks they're a slayer, it's really hard to actually secure and maintain the flags. I mean, uh, the problem was that once we actually got a flag, no one was even defending it, because basically my team was just running around all attempting to get kills all at once, and you kind of need a balance between the slayers and the objective players who capture flags. I mean, if you have too many players who capture flags, then you're going to have trouble actually, you know, getting to the flags and being able to safely capture them and if you have too many slayers then you're gonna have just a lot of trouble actually you know getting on the flags because no one wants to hop on them no one wants to be the one to put their life at risk in order to capture the flag but sometimes you really need to do what's necessary and like i said i kind of pick up the slack for that i kind of make up for my terrible early game a little bit later in the game and kind of just become that objective player that I should have been the whole game. This was a really, really close game. I mean, I'm not going to spoil it. You'll see what happens at the end of the game and what the score comes down to. But, yeah, so as for the PM9, this Moab was, wasn't too difficult, mainly because I was playing really carefully because the PM9, well, first of all, I kind of discredited this gun at first. You know, when I first used it for a while, I just thought this was a complete piece of trash. But... What I found out is that you really, really need rapid fire extended mags. Now this combination makes it pretty, a pretty decent weapon, but it is kind of specialized. And what I mean by this is you can only use it for certain kind of engagements. You really, really want to use it with steady aim. You want to start off with steady aim if you're using specialist with this setup because this gun becomes a hip fire machine. And you know, from close range, this gun will pretty much beat anyone, and it tears through people so fast. So you can take out multiple enemies really quickly with the extended mags attachment and with the rapid fire, like I said, you see right there. Had I had another gun, maybe some of the other submachine guns in the game, most likely I wouldn't have been able to get that kill to be honest because that guy needed one more bullet on me and this gun shoots so fast that you're able to get off so many bullets by the time the enemy is just, you know, <laughs> still shooting out their first few. So this gun is ridiculously beast in close range and it's just a pretty good gun overall. Like I said, I kind of discredited it at first so if you try something and you think it's just terrible just from using it a few times just use it some more and I don't know maybe you'll find out that's not as bad as you originally thought if you kind of mix it up and try some different attachments and stuff with it but yeah so I got my MOAB and usually I kind of wait to the end of the game to call in my MOAB especially if we're winning the game the reason for this is because once you call it in the enemy start to play a little bit differently they start camping they start you know whipping out the type 95 assassin the fmgs all those cheap classes and you see right here i'm kind of going to defensive overdrive i'm like i really don't want to lose this game so i'm pretty much doing my best to keep them off the flag but i see that i couldn't take them all out so i decided to call in my moab right here and hopefully use this you know the moab to use it to secure the B flag when the enemies are all dead now we were able to capture the B flag but basically <laughs> I kind of leave this area I'm just ro rotating around the map at this point you'll see I fast forward a little bit to the end where the game gets a little bit closer and we weren't really able to control the flags but anyway guys the game you see is coming down to the wire right here I'll let the gameplay speak for itself I mean it was close what can I say thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you hated it be sure to leave a dislike Leave some hateful comments and unsubscribe. Thanks for watching. Bow! Bow! Bow!